This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. We have an ultra-exclusive 6AM Listener Club mug. Yeah, so the way that it is so exclusive... Mm -hmm. Wait, is that the right word? Yeah. Exclusive? It's too early for this. Well, I think you're thinking elusive, actually. I was actually saying exclusive, though, because you can only get one by listening to the 6AM Listener Club. That makes it exclusive. Elusive means it's, like, secretive. That's exactly right. So I know it, you a little bit too well. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, sorry about that. It's fine. So on the mug, it says Ryder and Lisa's 6 a.m. Listener Club, but we scratched out the 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. part. It's clever. Super elusive. Super elusive and inclusive. Wait, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're asking you... What is your unhealthy breakfast this morning? Tyson said, I just had a drink from Starbucks that had chocolate caramel whipped cream and lots of sugar. I have no idea what it's called, but I am wide awake. Some sort of frappuccino. Samantha says, wild berry pop tarts. We got leftover tacos from Taco Tuesday from Justin. Josh says, 10 cigarettes and a pot of coffee. Okay, so many of our 6 a.m. listeners just smoke and drink black coffee, (laughs) which I kind of respect. Janelle says a sugar-free rock star. I tell myself it's healthier because it's sugar-free. Yeah, you get those chemicals, girl. What is your favorite unhealthy breakfast? Chicken and waffles. Mm, Absolutely. Good answer. Especially because I don't cheap out when it comes to the syrup. Mm, Oh, on the chicken too? Uh, Everything. Okay. It's just smothered. Fried chicken like leftover in the fridge is one of the best breakfasts that's super obviously unhealthy. It's fried chicken, Mm -hmm. uh, but just delicious. But I think my favorite is left out McDonald's. Ew, what? And I don't mean left over, like in the fridge. Like it's... Like it's been sitting out all night? Somebody forgot to put the cheeseburger, extra cheeseburgers that we got last night at this party in the fridge. Is this why you always have explosive diarrhea? Yeah, probably. Less than a week away from my 40th birthday. Whoa. That is wild. Yeah. And you just celebrated 10 years on our station. So if you're listening right now and you've been listening to Ryder since he started here. You're going to hit me in my 20s. That's wild. Because I started here at 29. My 30s and my 40s. Whoa. Three decades. If that doesn't put things into perspective... It actually kind of stings. Like, I didn't, I've never let a year uh, birthday bother me that much. And and 40 should not bother you. No, no, sure. But it does. It, (laughs) it, like. Just because time goes by so fast? But it's hitting a little harder. Yeah, I remember, like, growing up and thinking my my friend's parents were so old. They were so old, and they were probably 32. Yeah, they were, like, (laughs) my age now. Oh, no. What? So I need to be built up. I need some help yeah. with adjusting to this idea of turning 40. Anyone that texts in with some tips, advice for Ryder before he turns 40, you're all qualified to win a pair of tickets to check out the Roast of Ryder on September 8th. It's a Thursday night at the Cabin Pub and Party, and we'll also hook you up with a $100 gift certificate to spend that night. This text from Sheldon, first time writing into our show, says, Ryder, make sure you're working out. Don't use face cream, just Vaseline. It'll keep you looking fresher than a goose. And slippery. Very slippery. This text from Lindsay says, hope this makes you feel better, Ryder. Last week I thought I was 41 and then I got confused about my age. Did the math. I'm turning 43 in a month. I called my mom crying. That did make me feel a little bit better. Thank you for that. Greg says, 40? You still have 15 years until you get a senior's discount. You're still young. Alicia says, you're like a fine wine, Ryder. You only get better with time. Uh, Shane says, I just turned 49. I found once I hit 40, I really started to enjoy life more. You'll find out what I mean. Happy Mm. birthday, bro. Thanks, Shane. Uh, Colin says, just a reminder, the hangovers only get worse. And it's funny because on your actual birthday, you're going to be gone to... Where are you going? In Vermeer on a stag with a bunch of 30-year-olds. You're screwed. (laughs) You can show those young boys a trick or two, though. Load up on vitamin B. Midnight snacks. Oh, man. Laloon wrote in saying, Ryder, I'm 43 with a two-year-old. At least you don't have a toddler. Valid. Does that sound like a lot of work? It does, yeah. yeah. Uh, Becky says, damn, you're 40? I thought you were like 35. Daddy, you look good. Did you make that text up? I don't see that one. Where is Who wrote that? I don't see that. Becky. 
Rachel says, invest in Voltaren cream. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I think Voltaren so. Voltaren cream? <laughs> Voltaren, yeah. Uh, and muscle relaxers. Screw ibuprofen. That's for 30-year-olds. You're going to need the big guns now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and peps... Pepsid? Mm-hmm. What are these ingredients? I think Pepsid might be for <laughs> oh, uh, for acid like, reflux. Right, for your chest and stuff after you eat something spicy. You're donezo for the night. <laughs> Krista says you're just as good looking as two 20-year-olds. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Krista. Crystal says one way to think about aging and birthdays is you made it. You've survived thus far. Greg says don't worry. I did my first Ironman at the age of 45. It's not helping. That's got, awesome. That, gives, that should give you hope. It's awesome for him, but I'm not going to do that. Devin says, let me say this. My mom said turning 40 was hands down the best birthday she ever had. Okay. Felt like it was super liberating. She just turned 50 last week and spent it crying. So I think you're good for a while. Thank you, Devin. Mm-hmm. Samantha puts things into perspective. Always feel grateful for aging. And remember, not everyone gets to do it. Hope that helps. What do you got for us? The only way you're going to feel better about your 40s is when you hit 41. And then you're cool with it again? (laughs) That's what happened to me. (laughs) Okay. Thank you for the advice. Appreciate it. So green green pastures ahead. Yeah. We'll see. They might turn brown. (laughs) Now it's time for something that you'll probably forget. It's things Lisa found on the internet. Hey! Remember when we saw the teaser pictures of the horror movie based off of Winnie the Pooh and we were like, oh, this has to be a joke. Yeah. No, it's happening. The official trailer is now available through Jagged Edge Productions. It follows Pooh and Piglet as they go on a rampage after Christopher Robin abandons them. He goes back to the Hundred Acre Woods, brings his girlfriend... And, yeah, they come out of the bush, and they are not happy, and they are hunting him down. I feel like this should be, like, a 15-minute short film. I'm sure it won't be longer than an hour and 20 minutes. Let's hope. Yeah, it's called Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and it looks gory. I'll probably go and see it. But I'll watch it, like, through the crack of, like, one, between two fingers. That's how I watch scary movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Avril Lavigne is working on a Skater Boy film. She confirmed to Variety that she will be writing it and directing it, and she's going to have a bunch of other musical guests make cameos throughout it. I feel like that is going to be the shortest movie ever made. I can't wait to not go to that. There was a Skater Boy. Mm. She said, see you later, boy. Roll the credits. It's over. How are they going to rock out on MTV as well? Like, that's not a thing anymore. It'll be throwback. Okay. Yeah, Mm -hmm. fair. I used to uh, see kids all the time in my junior high wearing the ties, because that's when Avril really started to surface. That's right. get real famous. I never wore one, though. Did you? No. Any of your friends group rock that with the skater shoes? and? No, I believe the only people that wore ties in my school on a regular basis was the Jehovah Witnesses. They okay. loved wearing ties, yeah. And loved Avril Lavigne. Mm-mm. The last story that I have for you that I found on the internet today is about Lucas, a penguin at the San Diego Zoo, who got diagnosed with Bumblefoot, which is actually quite sad. It sounds cute, but it causes painful lesions on the feet that can lead to infection and then potentially kill the penguin. Oh, no. But luckily, everybody loves Lucas the penguin. They managed to find him some orthopedic shoes. Now he's just killing it. I guess you could say he's got... What? Happy feet. Oh, I love that movie. Something very funny just came across my Twitter timeline. It starts with a simple question and actually probably a fairly simple answer for most. Breaking Bad or Ozark? Breaking Bad. Yeah. And I would say 90%, 95%, even maybe more Mm -hmm. of people would say that. I do, in my opinion, think that Ozark had a better debut season. Season one of Ozark might be my favorite season of television I've ever seen. Oh, I was captivated by that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, all in all, bring Bad. But here's where it gets funny. Somebody comments. So once again, the question is, Breaking Bad or Ozark? Nope. Haven't watched either and probably won't ever watch. Sweet flex. 
Yeah, and so then this Kevin guy responded with, then why are you here? <laughs> and I just thought that was such a funny way to word it. Like, what? why are people inclined to brag about things they haven't seen all the time? Yeah. Like, I know some people that love to brag that they've never seen Avatar because it was the biggest movie in the world at that point when it came out. Right. And still to this day, they're like, haven't seen it. Yeah, well, I just don't get why that's a flex. Also, Grant Johnson that does the morning show on Cruise was trying to flex to me that he's never seen Ace Ventura. I was like, that does not make you cool. My mom was like watching kids for a bit when we were young. And any time that the kids were at our house, Mm -hmm. we weren't allowed to watch Power Rangers. And it was awful for me. So yeah, if are those like, kids walking around? Scary. Are those kids walking around now as adults, being like, never seen, never Power, seen Rangers, Power Rangers? Wouldn't even be able to tell you the theme song. It's probably not even good. Like, go, go home. <laughs> uh. The Ryder and Lisa replay. Brought to you by Action Furnace. Fixed right or it's free. Play one oh seven.